This is me suffering from another anxiety attack in Dallas. 24 hours after bullet casings were picked up from the streets, I went to Dallas. 24 hours before that, I was at a Black Lives Matter protest. If you were to ask me how Dallas was, I could not deliver a quick summary, but I can tell you all the things that ran through my mind because they haven't left me. Instead of visiting Dallas to go see museums and eat barbecue, my hotel sat right across the street from where the shooting took place. I couldn't eat and I couldn't sleep, so I just did what I do best, and that's film. Children, some who didn't understand, and unfortunately some who did. And it was not about a a city divided, but a city that came together in mourning, and how their lives are stricken with fear. Thought about how many anxiety attacks I had in one week. It was six. I couldn't breathe, and all I wanted to do was breathe. I thank you for the love. You know, love travels a long way. And I met a homeless woman, and I thought about the last time I had cried. So I cried with her. Thank you. <laughs> Just coming together as a community, that's what we really need to do. My Uber drivers became taxicab confessionals. It is a very unusual week. Um, I was at the rally. Some revealing how they were in the midst of the tragedy. Uh, it's been a crazy week. It has been awful. I didn't want to remember Dallas for its tragedy. But even as I tried to leave Dallas, the security level was so high that it was hard to leave. So it's okay to leave now? And even as I did, all I could think about were the people that were left behind with pain. When I got to the airport, I looked up to the news and saw that there was a shooting in Michigan not too far from my grandfather. And it made me think, in the midst of tragedies like Orlando, Baton Rouge, Minnesota, and now Dallas, where was I gonna travel to next?